And my name is Amaya from the Mopis. And we are getting the indentation back. The indentation was removed for, for core course format in 4.0. So we are getting it back. So we create a couple of issues to, to recover them for the course uh, page and also to apply the, the indentation look and feel in the course index. So now we are uh, allowing only one level indentation. So the teachers can move right and move left, but just once. And the plan is to, to backport this to 4.0 and 4.1 as well. So we are creating a setting for the, for the admins to decide if they want to use the indentation or not, uh, to, to make it totally fully backward compatible. And we are also creating an, an option for the admins to reset the indentation because we are keeping, even if we don't allow indentation in course format or in core course format, uh, we are keeping the information for the indentation that they have before 4.0. So we are letting the admins to reset the indentation if they want. So we are we changed the approach for that last issue, the, the admins to reset the indentation. Uh, but the rest of the issues have been already reviewed by the component leader, but they they gonna be also reviewed by integrators. So the first three issues are waiting for integration, and the third one, the fourth one, the last one, it's it's changing the approach, so it's still in in development. My name is Sarah Arjona. I'm developer and integrator in the Mopis team. I will explain you. It's like we have been working on some uh, UX hanging fruits. Uh, one of them is the reassess of the inclusion of the plugin name in the course page. Uh, right now, it has been in, uh, integrated in 5.2. So now, if you if you go to the course page or to any activity page, you won't see the uh, plugin name there. But if you enable the mode, the edit mode on, uh, you will see it back so it's on right now for in model 4.2 it's only displayed when um edit mode is enabled we have created the backport because uh there were a lot of complaints from the community when this was removed uh, added to the uh, course page uh so we have created the backport request uh, and it's like it will be processed and the, the, the integration team will decide if it can be backported or not to the stable versions. But at least it has been integrated or fixed in 5.2. Apart from that, we have been working on several um, uh, other tiny things. Like uh, it's like we have uh, reviewed how the feedback button was displayed, or we have been working with the product experience team. Uh, they create an issue to improve the copy from the login prompt for guest users. And it's like they create the issue uh, with the proposal, and we have been working on it. We have been also working on a couple of uh, improvements related to the database project that we have we were working on the last uh, the model version. And apart from that, we have been adding a couple of improvements. One of them is one of the most voted issues uh, in related to H5P to add support to the safe content state. So from once it will be integrated, the students will be able to uh, start an activity, then leave the activity and then continue at, in a different moment. Uh, so because the status is saved, is if the content type uh, support it. 